Introducing the Clean Air Chill from Botter. This system's single layer design assures the highest food safety by eliminating cross contamination due to dripping from overhead birds and an advanced air handling system. Our unique chilling process reduces bacteria, thus improving shelf life while maintaining bird quality without sacrificing yield. It is vital to reach the correct core temperature of 34 to 36 degrees Fahrenheit without freezing the surface of the birds. Botter solves this challenge by directing the air through a plenum duct system. Inside each room, ambient air is filtered and cooled through evaporators. The clean, dry, cold air is then forced through an enclosed plenum duct to optimize chilling capacity in a safe and clean environment. On the outside of the duct, openings are strategically aimed so the cold air exits the clean plenum directly into the cavity and around the birds sealing natural moisture while gently chilling the birds. All bird weights at the end of the chilling process match incoming weight within a half percent. The clean air chill layout and temperature zones are customized for each customer based on numerous factors including bird size, scalding temperature, line speed, building constraints, and others. The following process is a description of an existing solution based on a seven and a half pound live weight plant operating at 12,400 birds per hour that achieves a core temperature of 34 degrees Fahrenheit. The bird's core temperature entering the air chill room from evisceration is approximately 105 degrees Fahrenheit. The first step in our air chilling process is the clean air chill room which is split into two zones. Zone one temperatures are set at 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Below freezing temperatures would cause an ice buildup on the outside of the birds, creating an insulation that prevents heat extraction. To maintain yield and appearance, the birds are misted with water during the first two to three passes of zone one. Birds will stay in the first zone for 35 minutes and the core temperature will approximately reach 68 degrees Fahrenheit as they move into zone 2. Zone 2 temperatures are set at 33 degrees Fahrenheit. At this point in the process, the birds are mostly dry and the risk of freezing is extremely low. Birds will stay in the second zone for 50 minutes and the core temperature will be approximately 45 degrees Fahrenheit at the end. After zone two, the birds re-enter the back end of zone one for an additional 15 minutes. The bird's core temperature will be approximately 41 degrees Fahrenheit prior to moving into the low temperature room. The low temperature room is set at 18 degrees Fahrenheit. This separate room is designed for cold temperatures to reduce the bacteria population, such as Campylobacter and Pseudomonas, which increases shelf life by a minimum of one to two days in comparison to conventional systems. At this point, the birds are completely dry and there is no risk of icing. Birds will stay in the low temperature room for 15 to 20 minutes and will be approximately 39 degrees Fahrenheit prior to entering the final phase of the chilling process. The maturation room temperatures are set at 34 degrees Fahrenheit. This separate room can have multiple levels as the birds are completely dry and do not drip, eliminating the possibility of cross-contamination. The maturation process gives birds enough time to equalize their core temperature and age the meat for further processing. Birds will stay in the maturation room for 50 minutes and the bird's core temperature will be approximately 35 degrees Fahrenheit at the end. The total chilling process for this system is 151 minutes. The birds are not frozen or stiff 
promoting optimized further processing, such as A-grade wing cuts and deboning.